Baker Mayfield um, has an 81.6% completion percentage so far through two games. Leads the NFL in, uh, in that, in, in the completion percentage. Here's what he said about the reasons for that improved completion percentage. I'm very pleased with that because that goes for everybody. That's, that's protection. That's everybody being in the right spot at the right time. Accuracy, ball out on time, those guys making plays and finishing, finishing the plays. So um, for us, that, that's, a, that's a whole team stat. And uh, I, I think that's just gives credit to, to everybody else as well. And after the game, I asked you about the incompletion, the one incompletion you threw, and you said, I wish I'd taken that throw out. To oh, yeah. Nick. yeah. How much does decision making play into a high completion? Uh, I think. Game planning and preparation is a you know a huge part of that that completion percentage and just being on the same page of you know here's a certain look of guys hey the ball's going to come here be ready for it uh, you know if you're if you're a guy that might have to grab the attention of somebody on a route scheme then it's just being on the same page and um, you know we've done that so far so we need to keep getting better. Kind of off that Baker, do you feel even more comfortable? Like do you feel like Coach Stefanski is actually more comfortable even with you calling plays now and that contributes to the high completion. Yeah, I think, you know, we, we've hit on it quite a bunch of, you know, that halfway point last year of the sitting, sitting down and talking through our schemes and what I was comfortable with and how he sees things. And I think we've just continued to grow ever since that point. Um, and then also this training camp and being able to work some preseason game thoughts and, and see how different looks stack up against other defenses. I, I think that all contributes to the, you know, the continued success. And Jeff, um, he's looked good. I mean, he has kind of looked – the part of what you would expect a, a veteran quarterback to look like. I know the interceptions, uh, the one against the Chiefs, I, I believe he was trying to throw it away when he says that. The one against um, the one Schwartz kind of stopped his route. So those aren't his fault necessarily. He's got to do better late in games, but he is developing into what you want from a quarterback. We have so many weapons on this offense, Dave, and the offensive line is so good. You need a guy to go out there and, and run it well. You, you don't need Baker to go out and make play after play after play. You have a lot of guys that can do that. He, he, the quarterback has to lead it, and he has to be good. You know, In order for that to work, he has to be good. And I, I think he's improving. The one thing that the key word there, Dave, I think that you just used was veteran. And I don't think people quite realize that yet what is this is Baker's fourth season and the best thing about it is he has the same head coach and the same guy in his ear during the game in Kevin Stefanski so that that's a real critical thing but he is a veteran player now you know what, what do you, you you don't wait until your seventh eighth ninth year to call a guy a veteran you're right in calling him a veteran here in his fourth year and I, I think he's playing like one and now I, I've always kind of used this thought with Baker and I, I don't know if I don't know if it's accurate, but I I kind of like it. Think about the Dallas Cowboys teams under Jimmy Johnson when Troy Aikman was playing quarterback. Troy Aikman never had great stats. He didn't have to. You know, he had Emmitt Smith, he had Michael Irvin, he had some he had a good offensive line, he had really good players around him, and they ended up becoming a Super Bowl team. And Troy, though was a very good quarterback, never had the gaudy numbers. And I, I think Baker might end up being that kind of a quarterback, Dave. He, he's probably not going to have gaudy passing numbers when he can hand off to Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt. I mean, I, I'd, I'd be disappointed in Kevin Stefanski if he threw the ball 50 times a game just to throw it. You know, some, some games you might have to, but you have Nick and Kareem. So I think Baker's numbers are never going to be indicative of what he actually means to the offense, if that makes any sense. Yeah, and I would agree. Um, if you have two running backs, there's no need to throw the ball 50 times. You know, you you, you use your battering ram. You, you don't need you don't need to go up in the air.